Welcome back to the Gen Z channel. You're watching another video yet again. Day by day, we're uploading these as if it's nothing. So this video, we're gonna be talking about how I stay warm as a car hauler. Currently, where we're at, it is 26 degrees, the top location. And it has not been this cold yet in all the other places that I've been loading at. So this is the first time that it's actually 26 degrees. And usually, depending on the breeze levels, if it's windy or not, I have a ski mask that I throw on and then a hat on top. But I don't think we're gonna pull that ski mask out just yet. I just put on my sweater, my hoodie. We're gonna wear a hat, cover our ears up, and we're gonna wear some warm shoes. You gotta remember, when it's this cold outside, the key to staying warm is movement. If you're moving around, jogging even, or just walking quick, tying down stuff, you're gonna get warm. You might even be sweaty. So in the car hauling industry, there isn't too much of being cold. Well, there is, but if you know how to manage it, you can stay warm throughout any type of temperatures. So we just pulled up to our pickup. It's getting late, it's dark outside already. We just got back in the sleeper, we're dressing warm, and let's head on out and load up these cars. I feel like I'm in a bedroom just getting ready to go outside. We got this nice cozy bed. We could just stay in here and sleep and not ever work, but you ain't never gonna achieve any dream that you have or any goal that you have by just sleeping. What did you say you were gonna do tomorrow? Well, guess what? It's tomorrow. Are you doing what you said yesterday what you were gonna do? If you are doing what you said you were gonna do yesterday, good job, you got this. Keep it going. If you didn't do what you say you were gonna do yesterday, we might have a little bit of an issue. Get your head out of the gutter we got goals to accomplish and in this video the goal is to stay warm so let's get outside into this refrigerator and get our job done by the way most of my hats are sponsored by myself I bought them at truck stops this one right here bought it at a pilot very nice hat this one right here bought it at a TA it does the job it represents American flag it keeps us warm let's zip it up both ways and get out and do our job this time we're gonna pull out the big guns I hardly wear these but when I do wear these it's only if it's raining because these are waterproof snowing or very cold out one of the three options today it is very cold out so we're gonna put on these heavy steel toe boots which are also waterproof also our pants are double layered and they are the warm fuzzy type of pants on the inside so these are thick sweatpants what we're wearing is a t-shirt a thick warm sweater and a nice weatherproof snowboarding jacket it's purposely made for dealing with wet and very cold temperatures yo subscribe to Gen Z channel let's go Alex Brothers Transport, best car hauler, best, there. best supporter. Let's get to work! <laughs> you wanna know how cold it is? That's how cold it is. Started up my cars, and check this one out. Everything's frozen, but not even on the outside, from the inside, from the condensation. Might as well give us snow already. Can you please tell me how I'm supposed to drive this if it's frozen on the inside? It means I'm gonna have to put my head out of the window and drive like a puppy with my head out and that's gonna be even colder than I thought it would be. So imagine putting your face through a 26 degree breeze while you're driving. So we're having a little bit of an issue here. This window in this car doesn't even want to open. It's frozen to that little rubber piece. So I don't like to use the mirror when I back up, only use the window. I'm not that good with the mirror. So I'm gonna let this one stand here while I grab my next couple cars and then we'll put this one on. But just showing you this, just so that you guys see how cold it actually is outside. I might have even burnt the little motor trying to open it already. So while we have a co-worker here with me, Alex, I wanna ask you Alex, how do you stay warm in the winter? I see something weird here. 
barefoot. That's why Crocs. Crocs, bro. Come on. Look at this steel toe. Best boots. winter shoes for a car hauling. No. Yep. You get yourself some of these at Dick's. No, bro. Hundred look bucks. At, look at mine. I look so much better. So much comfortable. You're gonna have like, like wrinkly old broken feet when you're like yeah, 80. Right. Look at it. Because of how cold Yo, it is. Little experiment. I know. You see those things? You're never gonna slip on those things. With Crocs, you're not slipping. Apparently, he's saying that with Crocs, it's safer. And warmer. With Crocs, he's saying that it's safer and warmer just because they got a little bit of fuzz in it. But I don't believe that. But watch this. Watch. See, look at this. No, none at all. And look yeah, at, look right. at, look at mine. Ball. Literally, watch. You were on here. Never. You'll never slip with these. So, yeah, it's cold. Imagine, imagine like... You have your foot right here and you're lowering the ramp and then you squeeze it because you're wearing a croc but I won't because no, I'm wearing steel toe boots. Too. Over here? How? How are you gonna... Okay, or or if like you're walking and somebody runs over your foot because like some guy doesn't Ooh. see you. Like me, let's say I don't see you and I run over your foot and you're wearing crocs. What well, now? Can't go work. But if you're wearing these... I mean that's two months of break. Two months of break. Let's go. I, I ain't paying you. Yo, me and Gen Z over here hustling. Well, you guys sleeping, eating, taking a nap or something. We're making cash bank money. I think it's only 8 p.m. I don't think they are sleeping yet. Uh, but yeah, but we're still here. It's Friday. No, it's it's not Friday. <laughs> Getting ahead of schedule, buddy. But yeah, if you guys dreaming, stop dreaming. Go to work. <laughs> Hustle. Make some cash money. And one day, you're gonna be like Gen Z G. <laughs> A little motivational speech from Alex here. Good job, Alex. Keep yeah. hustling, keep grinding. He's younger than me. Youngest car hauler. Like by a year and a half. 20, 21 years old. You, you're not 21, you're already <laughs> older. But you started when you were 21, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we're just out here while it's 26 degrees, freezing our butts off, talking to a camera. Anyways, thank you guys for subscribe. for liking, subscribing, keep watching. And he's out because he's loaded before me. I still got to finish loading. I don't even have one car on yet. He's already got most of them on. Anyways, Alex, thank you for all the questions and answers and the little motivational speech that you gave us. If he makes a YouTube channel one day in the future, he's been talking about it. 200 likes. 200 likes. 200 likes. Okay. <laughs> if he makes a YouTube channel in the future, I'll uh, come back on here and tell you guys to subscribe to it. Yeah, if we're gonna get 200 likes, uh, I'm gonna... Okay, what do, we, what do we have to do? I mean, what will I have to do or you have to do if we get 200 likes on this video? I'm gonna steal, steal Gen Z's truck. You're gonna steal Gen Z's truck? All right, we'll see. If you guys get this video to 200 likes, he's gonna steal my truck. We'll see yep. about that. We got ice. Alrighty, moment of truth on this vehicle. Is it gonna open? There we go. Feels like a sauna in here. Let's turn it down. This is the time that we get into each vehicle and each vehicle is warm. My hands are warming up, my feet are warming up, everything. The seat warmers are on, so we're warming up our back and bottom. Trailer's looking lonely. We're about to fix that issue. So far, luckily, we're still not freezing. My hand has gotten a little cold taking pictures of the vehicles, but we're doing good. We have a few cars loaded on, a total of five. One is right there and we're getting a little chilly, so we gotta do a few exercises slash workouts to stay warm. I like to do, I try to do 100 push-ups a day, so we're gonna do that today, and a few jumping jacks, which gets the blood flowing. So jumping jacks, Let's do 15 of them, and then we're gonna hop right into push-ups. Pretty soon, this is gonna turn into a workout channel, not a car hauling channel. Just the FYI. Good form, all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, that made me feel like I was in gym class again, and the teacher is like, faster, faster. Anyways, 
Let's get to the real men stuff and let's hit some push-ups. We did 30. See on my cheeks? Red, that means we have blood flow. I didn't just do that for no reason. I did it for a purpose, to stay warm and also to stay healthy and fit. We're gonna do two more sets of 40, so a total of 120 push-ups by the time we're done loading. That way we'll be able to stay nice and warm and fit. All right, so we just loaded up another car on the trailer. This puppy right here, we got two more to go. So let's hit round two of 40 push-ups because we're getting cold again. And we pulled through. 25 degree weather, loaded up eight vehicles, staying warm. It's not too bad today. Sometimes we have to wear the face mask because you breathe in the air and it's so cold that it destroys your nostrils. So we are in the side door of the sleeper and this is what keeps us warm in the winter time. This thing is very powerful. It's kind of it's wired straight to the diesel tanks. It suctions out diesel, warms it up in this little area. That's why you wanna make sure it's always clear. Blows warm air through this pipe into the sleeper. Since our sleepers are smaller, we have to leave the curtains to the cab open or else this heater doesn't work properly. If you keep the curtains closed, it's gonna warm it's gonna heat you up way too much in that little sleeper. That's why you gotta let some air escape into the cab for it to work properly. So the main thing about this heater, why you wanna use it is because you get to shut the truck off and your head doesn't rattle all night long. I can't sleep while the engine is running. In the summertime, I have to because no AC works if the truck is off. But in the winter time, this little puppy right here saves us. Of course, if it's too cold outside, like under 10 degrees, I will not shut the truck off, I'll keep it running. But if it's like in the 20s or 30s, I'll shut it off, turn up, fire up this heater right here and stay warm all night long. The truck is looking good. We're not looking so good ourselves because we're just bundled up just to stay warm. But we got one last thing to do before we can hit the road and that's pump out another 40 push-ups because we do over 100 push-ups each day. Join the gang, join me and do 100 push-ups every day. So here's the control panel for the diesel heater. We can just turn it on, set the desired temperature, and the air comes out from this hole right here. And it blows kind of towards the cab. We do close our curtains, but we just leave a little crack so that the airflow goes that way. So I showed you how to stay warm, or at least how I stay warm in the winter time, if it's that cold outside. I still am seeming to be getting a cold you just can't escape that. So now that we're in the truck, we can get undressed because I like to keep it warm in here. And if I'm and if I'm wearing my sweaters and coats, like I like I said in my previous videos, I fall asleep while driving. Unless I'm like this and I keep it a little cool in the truck. This year, make sure you stay warm. I hope you learned some great tips from this video. If you didn't, well, boo-hoo. If you did, then I'm happy to be your tutor. Like I said, remember, if you say you're gonna start doing it tomorrow, you better not, you're, you better not let yourself and me down. You're gonna do it tomorrow. And in some cases, you said it yesterday, so today's the day. Don't let yourself down. Get out there, put in the work. Just how we did. No 25 degree weather stopped us. It gets even colder than that, and I still pulled through. And look at that, I even made a video while doing it. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, 
I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.